To the new warning tonight from the judge in Donald Trump's criminal trial. This time, the warning is not aimed at the former president. Instead, the warning is for Michael Cohen, Trump's one-time lawyer and fixer, who is now set to take the stand. Aaron Katursky tonight with what the judge said. After repeatedly ordering Donald Trump to stop publicly attacking witnesses, tonight Judge Juan Mershon warning the prosecution's star witness to stop publicly attacking Donald Trump. The warning directed at Trump's former fixer Michael Cohen, who brokered the hush money deal with porn actress Stormy Daniels. Cohen, who was expected to testify Monday, has been skewering Trump online, appearing on TikTok wearing a shirt showing Trump behind bars. Trump 2024, more like Trump 20 to 24 years. Today, Trump's lawyer Todd Blanche asking Judge Mershon to put Cohen under a gag order the same way President Trump is, saying it's becoming a problem every single day that President Trump is not allowed to respond to this witness. Prosecutor Josh Steinglass insisting he has no control over Cohen, adding we had repeatedly, repeatedly asked the witnesses not to do that. Mershon said there would be no gag order, but he instructed prosecutors to communicate to Mr. Cohen that the judge is asking him to refrain from making any more statements about this case and to make it clear you are communicating that on behalf of the bench. Trump unsatisfied. Everybody can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they want, but I'm not allowed to say anything about anybody. But Trump's lawyers did notch a clear win today. The judge ruling prosecutors could not show the jury a 1999 video of Trump bragging about his knowledge of campaign finance laws. I think nobody knows more about campaign finance than I do. Prosecutors wanted to use it to show Trump would have known Cohen's hush money arrangement with Daniels amounted to an illegal campaign contribution. But the judge ruled that out, telling prosecutors you're asking the jurors to draw an inference that because Mr. Trump knew the laws in 1999, he knew them in 2016. That's a lot of speculation. Michael Cohen is on the witness stand here Monday. David, there is no overstating the importance of his testimony. He says he was in the room with Donald Trump discussing the hush payment to Stormy Daniels at the heart of the case. The cross-examination is going to be brutal. And after Cohen, the prosecutors say they have only one witness left and could rest their case as soon as next week. David. You'll be back on Monday. Aaron Katursky, thank you.